Babylon and was constructed before 2,600 years by the king Nebuchadnezzar II as a gift to the Babylonian goddess named Ishtar. That's why it was called Ishtar Gate. After that, we have Meruyat Samara. It was built back in the Abbasid period in the year 851 AD and it was basically two parts. The first part is the spiral structure and the second part is an outside fenced area which used to be one of the largest mosques back in that time. And was able to take up to the people who came and prayed at the mosque. The Meruyat was the minaret. The person who calls for the prayer used to walk five times a day, 399 steps to the top part, enters inside the hollow room on top and calls the prayer using his voice, where it starts to echo all around the city. Now it's there only for its historical importance, also as an architectural masterpiece, found in Salah Hadith city in Samara area, and hopefully in the near future you guys can visit your own city. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, Emily Shell, guys. This gives us an idea of the depth of water in these two rivers, in these areas of Iraq on the map. So when we came from the north, it was the deepest. It became shallower as we moved on. And near the south, it will increase once more. Right here we have the marshes. It's an island area full of drinkable and clear shallow water located in the south and spans over 40,000 square kilometers. It was listed as a heritage site by UNESCO in 2016 and the people that came here in the of the marshes. Your houses are built over water. Your guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. Till next vlog. So, if you see above us, the ceiling of the pavilion was made to represent the official magnet when we from all over Iraq to catch the vast amount of opportunities and generosities found in Iraq. And the pillars came on the net aging from the pavilion. Like an angle, but this map and it gives us the amount of solar power available in these areas of Iraq that can be extracted and converted into a clean source of energy to promote the idea of sustainability for future generations. Right here we have the Pope's visit to Iraq last March. This visit was historical because it was the first time for the head of the Catholic Church to come and visit Iraq and it had many positive messages. One of them being that Iraq is a country that place. accepts all kinds of religions and faiths. And also when he came, he brought with him a message of peace. We want to send the same message to all other countries around us. Right here we have the Martyrs Monument. This monument was built in Baghdad, the capital of Iraq in 1983 to commemorate the martyrs who lost their lives defending their country. Uh, and immediately we have a museum containing their names and graves and marble roles so that they can be forever engraved in our hearts and remembered to our guests. It was designed by Smile for the Hector and if you guys want to see this in the United States in certain locations, you will see an optical illusion that these two domes will appear as one dome uh, or one full dome. Here, guys. Pero may ano sila si Papa Santo Papa, guys. So bless. Wala pina pakita din nila si Papa Santo Papa. Here, here pa balion pero anjan si Papa Santo Papa natin. Roman Catholic, ano? Catholic ba? Tapos na sa Muslim country here. So bless pa rin tayo. Thank you so much for watching. Till next vlog. Bye bye for now. Thank you, thank you.